we're doing the detective game again. Right, Audrey? This time we're doing the, the Mickey one. Detectives, we need to catch that criminal and find those stolen paintings. And that means you're going to have to search all around the ship. Yay, we get to go up and down the whole we'll ship. Went and ran outside for roughly about two and a half miles. You can run on deck four. Two and a half times around the ship equals one mile. But it was so hot and humid, it only could do a little bit. Uh, did check out the gym the other day. And the gym basically had about treadmills and elliptical machines. This is deck four right here. As you can see they got some shuffle boards. And then if you read if you run around again two and a half times that equals one mile. Some people go all out with their decorations for the rooms. Whereas our room is pretty boring and it's got absolutely no decorations whatsoever. Can I tell her she's your favorite? She loves Ariel. <laughs> you must be an explorer too, like me, huh? Yeah, are you also a mermaid? You are. So the thing with Disney Fantasy is they actually have a Tiffany store inside too. So if you want to drop even more money, there's a place to do it. Today's our last full day. It's going to be a Castaway Key. I think we should be arriving here in about... Uh, maybe 15-20 minutes although having said that I'm looking at the channel that shows what the uh, the captain sees and I don't see any islands anywhere nearby I did see one earlier oh maybe I see it over there uh, I don't know so anyway we should be in Castaway Key soon so we'll see in a little bit so the thing about Disney is they obviously have a very efficient operation so we just docked and you have all these uh, cast members that come off the boat first and then you got tons of these pallets that basically have all the food that they're loading on to the trucks um, to get ready for us to have at the restaurants and stuff. So they're getting all the uh, supplies, the staff off the boat before they release any of the passengers. Um, so everybody can basically get ready before we get off. Let's go eat lunch. There's a dance party going on here. Let's go eating lunch. They had a buffet with uh, ribs, chicken, uh, cheeseburgers. This is kind of where they have the games here. They got a basketball court, not a basketball court, basketball hoops, pool table. They got ping pong tables here. And uh, now we're gonna basically head over to rent some bikes and go for a little bike ride. The lunch, I would say, is actually pretty good. And uh, they have all the soft serve ice creams too. So that's actually uh, nice. And then they have, um, of course the fountain drinks, the Cokes, 
uh, Coke products and for desserts they have the cookies as well as the uh, the ice cream. Here's where they have the uh, hair braiding section here. See the prices there. get my hair braided but my hair is too short whatever hair I have left so I can't do it all right we're on our bike it looks like we're actually riding on a runway here which is pretty cool what? it looks like we're actually on an airport runway huh it's a nice peaceful bike ride we're doing basically the 5k trail this is the same as the 5k trail. I'm talking, I'm talking to the camera. Say hello, Audrey. Oh, hello, dude. Hello, dude. How, how the, how's the camera? Yeah, Audrey's sitting in the back right now. And we got Noah up front leading us, showing us the way and the 5k. Alright, so here's where the water slide and the bucket dumping area is. It says it's up to six feet deep. So I'm about to ride the banana boat. You excited? Yeah. You hear a little bit of thunder over there in the distance, but I think we should be good. They said as long as there's not lightning. And they said there's sharks in the water too, but <laughs> as long as uh I think I yeah, I think as long as we're on the boat we should be good. Alright. We're on the uh the banana boat. Starting off pretty slow. Alright, here we go. about 20 25 miles an hour <laughs> but it felt like 60 miles an hour so a review of castaway key let's see we were there basically all day from morning all the way until 4 45. the banana boat was probably more intense than i thought it was um it was definitely more intense than what i thought i think the kids liked it i thought it was pretty cool um, we also did the snorkel package. The highlight was a, seeing the sea turtle. And then the bikes are actually pretty cool too, riding the bikes. Uh, the trail that they had was really nice. So that was pretty cool too. So overall, I'll give it thumbs up. Right, animator's palette. Everybody's busy doing their drawings. Look at that. We got the Disney theme going. All right, that's mine. Look at the biceps. Huge. It's a Lee family! Yeah! Oh, is that you? Yeah, that's me. Oh yeah! Audrey, there's yours! There's yours, Audrey's! That's Audrey's! Alright, so it's our last night, and just to recap, we got done with Animator's Palette and it was a cool show we saw that uh and now we have to pack and we have to have all our bags out by 10 30 p.m so we have to pack stuff that we want for tomorrow on our carry-on we have our breakfast at eight and then they literally kick us out <clears throat> so it's a reality check but to recap i would say one of the cool things about being on the cruise was that you don't see anybody on their phone like you would if you were on land. You would see everybody <clears throat> walking or at dinner time you would see people with their phone on their phones playing, but you don't see that here just because the phones don't work. So that's actually pretty cool. Everyone's actually having conversations or hanging out together as a family. 
Isn't that right, buddy? Yeah. Plus, something I liked was everything was free. Ice cream was free. Food was free. Basically, like, well, getting on an island was free. I wouldn't really say it's free. We well, most definitely of, pay most for it. Stuff. <laughs> but, well, yeah, I mean, it's nice that it was this. all included. So I got a big souvenir. Cool. All right, you want to show... Show people what your souvenir was. I got Stitch. Yes, you got Stitch. You got Stitch. So as you can see, our bunk beds are all set up, ready to go on our last night. Yeah. So it's a sad day for everybody. And um, so yeah, again, I think that was one of the cool things. Um, just the fact that everybody just hanging out together, spending time together. Again, I, one thing I was surprised about was there wasn't as much downtime as I expected. What? Just because there's so many activities. Uh, yeah, so for me, that was tonight's show was the best show. I think if you have a uh, father daughter um, uh, on the ship, I think this is by far the most uh, sentimental as well as just uh, overall best show, especially for you dads that have daughters. I think this is the show to watch. It's, it was the uh, Believe, I believe. It's uh, either, yeah, I think it's the Believe. It's the last show of the night. And if your daughter is, or if anyone's into the princesses, you'll see all the princesses, or not all of them, but you'll see a lot of the princesses. And um, again, I, I thought it was the best show, one of the best shows, even better than Aladdin. But again, it's just maybe because I'm not an Aladdin fan. So definitely make sure you watch the show of the last night. Uh, it's definitely worth it, I think. Uh, and make sure you get there a little bit early, just because it, <clears throat> it does get packed too.